you're looking at option two of my kayak motor mount and I've got a better solution at least for me and that's option three that we're going to talk about right now option two was really simple it was just a two by four horizontally with a couple bolts to lock it down to some utility tracks on either side of the kayak so now there are two key reasons why this didn't work out for me the first is that the position of this thing just takes up too much of the valuable space right behind my seat i mean this is where it's easy to reach back and grab stuff and now i got this motor mount in the way and that was a no-go let's go look at the second piece and we got to go underneath to see that the second issue and this is actually the bigger issue than just the space that the mount takes up behind the seat is the position of this thing the first thing is, given the junction on the 2x4s, I've got another inch and a half up here that this lifts up out of the water. And again, this shaft is short. It's only 24 inches. So that puts my propeller too close to the water line and minimizes the benefit I get out of the motor. So I want to be able to lower it to be able to get it farther into the water. The second thing is, this is up at the middle of the boat. Now, I use my steering controls, so I don't need to touch the handle on this to uh, make a change in direction. And since I'm operating using the pulse width modulator, I don't need to touch the handle to be able to change the speed. So there's no need for this to be up close to my seat. And the issue with that is by having it at the middle of the boat, the thrust of the motor is quite a long ways away from the rudder. In fact, when I measured it, it was 21 inches away. So now I got the thrust of the motor going here and my uh, rudder is way over there. And I've discovered that that is really not responsive. Not only does the water take a long time to, to get going over the rudder, it's not responsive when you're having to push against the middle of the boat to get it to move. So for those reasons, the space and the position, I'm going to move it. Now the issue I've got with moving it, and I'm willing to live with it, is when I move it farther to the rear, it's going to be more of a stretch to reach back and grab it to tip it up when I hit an oyster bed or something like that. But I'm willing to live with that to get more response and better performance out of this motor. So here is what I ended up doing. The first thing I did is I changed out that flat, thick, horizontal 2x4 for an inch and a quarter piece of this angle iron. And that allowed me to push this all the way back up against my boondocks. And now I am not taking up valuable space in front of my seat. The tweak that I did to this is I decided to mount this 2x4 to the middle of the angle iron because I wanted to bolt it down to both of my gear tracks and that allowed me to put a T-track on the top. You can get these things really inexpensively. Right now they're $20 for four feet from Home Depot and by uh, screwing this onto the top now I can mount more accessories back here more so than I could do on my boondock. So that's a great benefit. Like I said it's just two 5 16 inch uh, T-bolts, and you could use toilet bolts as well. I recommend the 5 16 through these holes. Now the holes are 3 8 inch, so that gives you a little bit of slack when you're running your T-bolt up through it. Uh, thankfully, given the width of my kayak and the spacing of these holes, I did not have to drill anything into this angle iron. And my buddy Dick gave me a piece of uh, pressure treated 2x4 to be able to hang the motor on and I've got two bolts going through that to hold it to the angle iron. One of the things I really like about this arrangement is I don't need to slide it on and off my utility track. Instead I can slide the T-bolt on, drop it on top, and then screw it down. Much easier than trying to slide the horizontal piece uh, right in back of my seat. Now Let's go look at the benefit downstairs in terms of what this does for my propeller positioning. 
let's look at the second benefit of moving this thing back and changing the way it's mounted. The obvious thing is, you can see that I've taken out an inch and a half of distance here on my shaft, and on this motor the shaft is only 24 inches, so that inch and a half gets the propeller a lot far, well, gets it an inch and a half farther down. With my water line being about here, you can see that my propeller is now in the optimum range for thrust for this particular motor. The other thing is that when I measure the distance over to the rudder, it's only 12 inches. So that means that the thrust is closer to the rudder and the rudder is going to be more responsive. In addition, since it's back uh, from the middle of the kayak and, and into the curve here at the end, my boat is going to turn a lot easier than pushing against the middle of the kayak to get it to switch. So what do you guys think? I think this is finally a winner, and I like the fact that I can put more stuff on my T-Track up above. If you've got suggestions on how to improve where I mount my kayak motor, boy, three, please throw them down below. I'm all ears. Thanks.